Hey there, Miami moms. My name is Huawei Hands On Therapy Services. I am a mom myself and I went through so many different issues when I was pregnant. So I wanted to come on and share with you some common injuries that moms tend to have, whether it be during their pregnancy, after their pregnancy, or as their kids are growing. <laughs> Um, I don't know about you, but when I was pregnant, I had so many different hand and arm problems and I even had certain issues after. Now, I'm lucky because I'm a hand therapist and I was able to fix um, some of the things and I just kind of knew what I needed to do to get rid of those problems. So I wanted to share some of those tips with you today. So some of the questions that we have are um, when it comes to numbness. So one of the most common problems that during pregnancy moms have is um, carpal tunnel. So they'll, their fingers will start to go numb. So if you wanted to learn more about carpal tunnel, I have some videos um, on YouTube that kind of address what carpal tunnel is and some of the things that you could do about it. But during pregnancy, what happens is um, our bodies start to um, loosen up, right? Because of our hormones, um, it starts to loosen up so that there's room for the baby to grow. And so it's not just like in your in your hips and, and in your belly and stuff like that, it's everywhere. So if you're a loosey-goosey person like myself, I'm a loosey-goosey person, I explain being loosey-goosey is like just having a lot of flexibility. So my fingers go way back, my elbows go into what's called hyperextension, so it bends past zero and my knees do it too. So I'm a loosey-goosey person and, and what happens is during pregnancy, you can get even looser. And so it'll start to cause a few problems um, during that pregnancy, along with like the weight gain and the water retention. <laughs> so one of the things I was having was numbness in my fingers. So if you're having numbness in your fingers, and it's these three fingers, it's probably um, the median nerve. So one of the easiest thing when you're pregnant to do is just get one of those wrist braces um, at the drugstore and wear it at night to help you. The other nerve problem that moms tend to have um, is called cubital tunnel. So it's the nerve that comes right here. It's your funny bone. Like when you knock it, it's your funny bone and you'll have pain, but you also have some numbness here in these two fingers, your small finger and half of your fin uh, ring finger. So one of the things that used to happen to me was when I was sleeping. So if I laid on my back and rested my arm, imagine my arm, the weight of my arm and how sensitive this was, would have a lot of pressure on the mattress and my, my fingers would go numb. If these are going numb, then um, you wanna just make sure you're changing positions. So sleeping on your side, whoops, <laughs> sleeping on your side is really good for that or just making sure that you have some pillows underneath to prop up your shoulder so that your elbows don't push down into the, into the mattress too much, causing the, the compression of that nerve and it's gonna make these two um, fingers go numb. The other thing with that nerve is when you're on the phone a lot. So you see, when I'm on the phone, I bend my elbow. So anything that requires you to bend your elbow really stretches that nerve and um, I don't know about you, but with my son, I had it a huge amount. Um, so every time I would talk on the phone, I think this dates me a little bit because it was before headphones were really popular. <laughs> Claudia's laughing at me, but, but yeah, I just never used headphones. I would just like, you know, um, you know, pick up the phone and talk. And so my, my elbow would bend. And within minutes, my whole, my fingers would just go so numb. So I had to put it on speaker and this is funny, but my boobs got really big and I would just set on my boobs. <laughs> I would set my phone on my boobs and I would uh, talk so I wouldn't have to bend my elbow. But really, um, during the pregnancy, there's not like, you're not gonna go get an injection. You're not gonna go get pills and, and um, and have surgery during your pregnancy because a lot of times those symptoms will go away after the baby is born, right? So in the meantime, you can use headphones or you can do things that don't force you to bend your elbows for too long or don't put pressure on your elbows for too long. That's going to compress and hurt these two fingers, your small finger and your ring finger. And then the, the carpal tunnel part um, that affects your thumb, your index finger and your middle finger, a lot of times half of this finger, um, is to wear the braces at night to give that nerve a chance to rest. 
So if you're suffering from carpal tunnel or cubital tunnel, I know those are fancy words, but they're just numbness problems in your fingers. If you're suffering from that during your pregnancy, there's a few things, you know, like I was just telling you that you can stop it. Now, the key thing is if it continues after your pregnancy, if it continues like even months after your pregnancy or after you have your baby and then it goes away, but then it comes back several months later, it's a great time to get help because something is going on that's keeping that compression um, and squeezing the nerves and that's what's causing your numbness. And it's totally um, fixable. You can really get rid of it before it gets worse and needing to wear braces um, forever. Sometimes um, I, I talk to moms and they're like, I've been wearing it for two years. Well, <laughs> nothing worse than having to wear all these braces on at night and during the day, it's really hard to take care of your kids. So you can actually get rid of those problems. Um, so if you notice that it's lasting a little bit too long after your pregnancy, then definitely give us a call here at Hands-On Therapy Services and we can make sure that we give you the right kind of help and make sure that we can get rid of that problem so you can avoid having to wear braces or consider surgery at the worst case scenario.